looking to screw the cue ball back towards Bort. But having failed to pop the red, didn't know where it was going to end up. Yeah, and I think it will pass the yellow. Plenty of room. A chance for Ronnie then to get in again. This table is quick. Yes, and it's appreciably picked up pace since the earlier session when at times it looked on the sluggish side, but it's certainly quickening up now. It was a thin cut on the blue to that left centre pocket, which Six. let Trump in for the 60 break, which set up the previous frame for him. Seven. Well controlled. Trump wondering if he's going to get another opportunity in this frame. Still relatively early in the piece. Well, there's your answer. He will. Well, that will annoy Ronnie because we know what a perfectionist he is. And it wasn't that difficult to get him behind that red. End of break. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 30. Well, 30. It should have been more. Very rare to see a positional error like that from O'Sullivan with the way he's been playing of late. Especially with a sort of a basic uh, positional shot, wasn't it? Just a touch of side he needed to get him behind the red. Would have liked the safety to, to have been a little bit better as well. And having said that, he's, I think he's just allowing Judd to open up a few of these reds. Oh, talk about opening them up. <laughs> well, that was a, a big mistake from Ronnie there. I just wonder when he played the safety off you at the red that he might have mushed, mushed it into a, a plant. Well, I think this is just a question, really, Phil, as we know. If Duke can get to the interval, you know, we just don't know what might happen after the interval. Yes, and these are the sorts of frames that can plant a seed of doubt because O'Sullivan was in, Four. looking good to make a really sizable break, if not actually a frame-winning one. Now, if Trump can turn this around from 30 points behind, that'll give him a boost. Sounded like a mobile phone. By and large, the Shanghai crowd have been very good this week with making sure their phones are on silent or switched off. Yep, they certainly have. They've been very respectful of the players. Ten. Let's not forget as well, Phil, that this tournament was squeezed into the calendar, wasn't it? At the last minute, really, with the contract signed. And well, it's been a wonderful week. Yes, the cream has certainly risen to the top.
Seven. He's just watching Ronnie in the chair there, Phil. He's looked very, sort of very relaxed all week, hasn't he? Good within himself. And, you know, and when he's like that, we know he's dangerous. <laughs> Lovely cannon there. Were well, he to lose this frame, though, it would be at the very least a source of irritation. He'll still be four clear. But at one stage, he was seven clear. Yes, and the last frame before the interval will take on some importance. Well, they could have done without being a little bit higher, but it's not bad. You can still get the cannon here. Just got his nose in front now with that red. A good split here. It should be 8 4. <laughs> Nicely done. Red's potable, but he's going to need one of those two that are just together there. there you go to the corner pocket. Might play another cannon down the line. Trying to nudge them. He just landed a little bit straight on that red. I mean, he could nudge them again here. He needs them open, though. Oh, well, knowing that he was still going to be on this red, but he's committed himself to the cannon there. Now he's slightly out of position. Rest required, so a bit of pressure on this one. But he is an outstanding rest player. Well, not much angle on the black, though. He's going to have to play on one of these reds to the, the green pocket. Look at that. He can't get anywhere near the reds from there. So it's going to have to be the right-hand red, I think, to the green pocket. He's had a couple of attempts at uh, trying to nudge them. Still needs a red and black after this, or red and colour after this one. That looks pretty good to me. Hmm. Ah. Ronnie having to sit in his chair then for a change. This is the all-important ball. If this goes in, should be 8-4. And it has to go in because he's leaving the other red, and he's got it. Oh, well played. 33, the lead, needs the black. I'll tell you what, Phil, this has been some contribution. Missed it. Wow. He's missed it. Would you believe that? I mean, he's played in such a way to block the pocket, but... I don't know whether that was a bad contact. No, I think it was just a mis misjudgment. Hit it thick. Well, he still has the chance then to steal this frame. 33 in it, 35 at the table. Black waiting. We've just got to be careful here, there's nothing safe. That was unexpected, though. That miss on the black. Seemed to have done the hard work when he potted the long-range red.
Mm, not quite the snooker. I think Judd can see some of this red past the blue. Let's have a look. Oh, well, <laughs> there's not much there. He might have to come off the cushion. Unless he plays a little swerve and he's, he's slightly hampered with the green as well. This could be interesting. Imagine if he plays a swerve and then pushes a red onto the back. And coming off the cushion is a lot more tricky. And it's only one snooker. No snookers. Oh, what am I saying? Of course it is, yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh. <laughs> Good hit. Well, Ronnie might have a go at this with the black hanging. One good pot, guaranteed to be on, to be on the black, really. And there's nothing safe. Oh. I'll tell you what. Well, if he clears here, this will hurt Judd. It was a great red. He's still got work to do to get from black to yellow. Yeah, and they're always tricky, aren't they, when they're near the pockets. It's difficult to judge sometimes. Just miss the middle pocket, which he has done, but he needs it sort of needs that to bounce a little bit. He's done well there. And still needs good touch here, though, from yellow to green. But if he gets this one right, I think it's 9-3. 10. Well, what a frame this has been. O'Sullivan first in with 30, played... For him, a poor positional shot, played safe, or at least he thought he had. Trump potted a plant from long range 30. and looked to have done all the hard work, only to miss a relatively straightforward black. And now O'Sullivan, courtesy of that great red, with a chance to inflict potentially fatal pain here. Yeah, and the snooker they laid before that was excellent as well, wasn't it? We saw on Hawkeye's view, there was just a little bit sticky now, but Judd decided to go across the table off the cushion and it looks like it's cost him 9-3 Phil that is a long way back I can't see it really one good positional shot well hang on though no. hang on hang on where's he going oh touch of side on the white oh. now then there's no question this table has really sped up well, he's come this far. I think he'll take this on. He's got it. That was a pressure pop for O'Sullivan. 